Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Exchange Server 2019. In the last video, we talked about cutover migration. We talked about the prerequisites for cutover migration. We met all the prerequisites and we migrated all on-premise mailboxes to our phase 365 using cutover migration. In this particular video, we will be talking about Exchange Hybrid. We will discuss what is Exchange Hybrid environment, what are the benefits those are provided by Exchange Hybrid. We will talk about the components those are involved in Exchange Hybrid deployment. We will discuss different types of Exchange Hybrid deployments. Those are available for on-premise Exchange organization. And what are the features those are provided by each Exchange Hybrid deployment type? Exchange Hybrid deployment provides a seamless look and feel of a single Exchange organization between on-premise and Exchange online. Hybrid deployment lets two different organizations to work as a single organization. If you're watching this series from the beginning, we have successfully configured on-premise exchange server. Now let's assume we want to use services those are provided by Office 365, like Exchange Online, Exchange Online Protection, Microsoft Teams, and other services those are provided by Office 365 subscription. Exchange Hybrid Deployment allows users to use both these services, those are provided by on-premise Exchange and Office 365. Let's compare some of these services with on-premise Exchange and Exchange Hybrid. When you have on-premise Exchange server, the mailboxes are stored only in on-premise mailbox server. But when you deploy Exchange Hybrid, the mailboxes can be stored either in on-premise or in Exchange Online. When you have only on-premise Exchange, email routing is handled only by on-premise Exchange server. But after deploying Exchange Hybrid, you can control email routing either from on-premise or from Exchange Online. You can set up either centralized or decentralized mail flow, and you can control email routing either from on-premise or from Exchange Online. In on-premise Exchange Server, OWA requests are handled by only on-premise mailbox server. But post deploying Exchange Hybrid, on-premise and Exchange Online users can use same OWA URL. When we talk about Unified GAL, Unified GAL is not available in on-premise Exchange Server organization. But after deploying Exchange Hybrid, on-premise users and Exchange Online users will be a part of same address list, which is also called Unified GAL. In on-premise Exchange Server, only on-premise users can share free busy information between each other. But when you have Exchange Hybrid deployed, free busy information can be shared between on-premise users and Exchange Online users. Exchange Hybrid deployment includes five components. The first component is Exchange Server. If you want to deploy Exchange Hybrid, you need at least one Exchange Server in your environment. If you have Exchange 2016 or 2019, you need at least one mailbox server. And if you have Exchange 2013 or earlier versions, you need at least one mailbox server and one client access server. The second component of Exchange Hybrid deployment is Office 365 tenant. Office 365 is a cloud-based subscription model. This is also called software as a service, where you use services based on the subscription that you have purchased. The third component of Exchange Hybrid deployment is Azure Active Directory authentication system. Earlier, this was used to be called Microsoft Federation Gateway. This is a free cloud-based service that acts as a trust broker between on-premise Exchange Server and Exchange Online. When you create Office 365 tenant, a trust is automatically created between Office 365 and Azure Active Directory Authentication System. But for on-premise Exchange Server, this trust is not created automatically. This trust is created when you run hybrid configuration wizard, or you can create it manually using PowerShell commands. The fourth 
component of exchange hybrid deployment is Azure AD Connect. Azure AD Connect is a Microsoft tool that is used to synchronize on-premise identities to Office 365. And the fifth component of Exchange Hybrid Deployment is Hybrid Configuration Wizard or HCW. Hybrid Configuration Wizard provides a streamlined process to configure and exchange hybrid deployment between on-premise exchange and exchange online. So these are the five components. Those are involved in a successful exchange hybrid deployment. Now let's talk about the benefits or the features those are provided by Exchange Hybrid Deployment. In Exchange Hybrid Deployment, on-premise users and Office 365 users can use the same domain namespace for their email addresses. For example, the domain that you are using in on-premise Exchange Server, you need to verify and add the same domain in Office 365 as well. And this is one of the prerequisites for Exchange Hybrid Deployment. So in this example, on-premise users, migrated users, and cloud-hosted users will use at office365concepts.com SMTP domain for their email addresses. Office 365 users and migrated users will be a part of a single global address list. That means cloud-hosted users and migrated users will be able to see each other in Exchange Online global address list. This is also called Unified Global Address List. Exchange Hybrid Deployment enables free BZ and calendar sharing between on-premise and Exchange Online. On-premise users and cloud-hosted users can see each other's availability and they can share calendars with each other. The next benefit provided by Exchange Hybrid Deployment is centralized mail flow. By enabling centralized mail flow, we can control the inbound and outbound email flow. All external emails will be routed to the MX record and through the outbound connector in Office 365, those emails will be delivered to the on-premise. And based on the recipient location, emails will be delivered to the mailboxes. This is called centralized mail flow. In hybrid deployment, emails those are sent between on-premise and Exchange Online organization are sent over TLS. Any email that is sent between on-premise and Exchange Online is considered as internal email, and the SEL value for these emails will be stamped as minus one. In hybrid deployment, on-premise and Exchange Online users use the same URL to connect to their mailboxes over the internet. In Exchange Hybrid, you can migrate on-premise mailboxes to Exchange Online, and even you can offboard them back to the on-premise. Hybrid deployment enables centralized mailbox management in on-premise Exchange Admin Center. An administrator can manage on-premise mailboxes and migrated mailboxes from on-premise Exchange Admin Center. In hybrid deployment, on-premise users can take benefit of online archiving. Administrators can enable online archiving for the mailboxes those exist in on-premise. In Exchange Hybrid Deployment, you can perform cross-premises message tracking, mail tips, and message search. And on-premise users can use Microsoft Teams in hybrid deployment. But to achieve this, an administrator will have to meet certain prerequisites. Now let's talk about the different types of Exchange Hybrid Deployment options. Those are available for your on-premise exchange organization. Hybrid Configuration Wizard currently supports classic topology and modern topology. Classic topology includes minimal, express, and full exchange hybrid. And modern topology includes minimal and full exchange hybrid deployment. Exchange hybrid features availability depends on the type of deployment topology that is selected while running hybrid configuration wizard. Because all of the topologies do not provide all the features of exchange hybrid. For example, federation trust and organization relationship is configured only when classic full or modern full topology is selected while running hybrid configuration wizard. Send and receive connectors are configured in on-premise if classic full or modern full topology is selected. OAuth is configured only in classic full or modern full hybrid deployment. And in case you have on-premise Exchange Server 2013, 
2016 or 2019 with latest cumulative updates. Cross-premises mailbox search is supported only in classic full hybrid deployment. Cross-premises mail tips are enabled only in classic full and modern full hybrid deployment. Email address policy is enabled and domain is added in accepted domains in all types of hybrid deployments. And in every type of hybrid deployment, you need to configure external DNS record for auto discover and you need SSL certificate from a third party certification authority. So based on the type of hybrid deployment selected, hybrid configuration wizard will configure the features. Now the question arises, what type of hybrid deployment you should choose, classic or modern? In classic hybrid deployment, Exchange Online and On-Premise Exchange connect to each other during mailbox migration or for any type of communication. Modern hybrid deployment installs hybrid agent that handles all the communication between on-premise and Exchange Online organization. Moreover, hybrid agent eliminates the requirement for inbound HTTPS connections to the on-premise Exchange organization. You can choose classic hybrid deployment if you want to configure a permanent hybrid environment. Modern hybrid deployment is the option when you want to migrate mailboxes to Exchange Online and later you want to decommission your on-premise Exchange. You can choose classic hybrid deployment if you have purchased third-party certificate for SMTP, Auto Discover, and other services of your on-premise Exchange server. If you do not have a third-party certificate, you can choose modern hybrid deployment. But hybrid agent doesn't handle SMTP mail flow. So you still need a public certificate for mail flow between on-premise and Exchange Online. Classic hybrid deployment includes all the features of hybrid deployment. Whereas modern hybrid deployment includes only free busy and mailbox migration. Mail flow, multi-mailbox search or cross-premises message tracking is not included in modern hybrid. So based on your requirement, you can decide what type of exchange hybrid deployment you want to configure for your on-premise exchange organization. In the next video, we will be talking about prerequisites for exchange hybrid deployment and we will meet all the prerequisites one by one. So that is all for now. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.